Hey guys, this is me Rachit and welcome to yet another video. So, going back in time if I was in first year or second year, uh, I was really passionate about my career and I knew that I wanted to go into software engineering. But I did not use my time in a right way or I could do a lot in my college itself. And the first two years in college are something which a lot of people waste. And this video is about the advices that I would have given myself if I could go back in time. So a brief introduction about me. I've graduated in 2017 from IIT Roorkee. I'm an electrical engineer, unfortunately, and I've worked with Flipkart and Growfirst when I was doing internships in college. And in the final year, I got placed at Microsoft and I've been working here since then. This channel is about um, me sharing the tips and advices to beginners and freshers in job so that they can boost their career and get in good product based companies like Microsoft, Google, etc, etc. And uh, I also like to teach, so I constantly upload videos about programming, data structures, algorithms. Recently I have started lecture series on C++ STL for beginners and I'm super excited to see the response, so thank you. Anyways, coming back to today's topic. Um, Oh my god, I, it's very easy actually to waste time in first and second year to be honest because um, you have, you were studying for IITJE for two years now and now you are finally out of your house, you, uh, you came to a hostel and you are living like really happily because there is so much freedom and I know that starting few months of the college can be a bit disturbing like if you really loved living at home and now you are transitioning to college and hostel that might be a little bit disturbing because you might feel that your friends are gone and um, all these new kinds of people they are coming from all over places from India and you might feel that you don't really bond with them that well but I know that that point will get passed away and finally you will really enjoy living with your roommates and and it's so much fun so freedom is something that you will enjoy a lot in your first two years but these are actually the f two years that can totally transform uh, where you get placed in your fourth year so um, if you are from non-computer science branch uh, you might be taught java and c++ because in starting first year or first semester at least the courses for uh, all branches are same I think for most of the college for my college it was most of the people do competitive programming in Java or C++ and if you are wondering what is competitive programming um, it's something wherein you train your brain it's like a gym for your brain wherein you train yourself for problem solving approaching new problems in life related to programming data structures and algorithms and um, if you do really well in that you uh, you really become expert at data structures algorithms programming and so many things like that but the benefit of that is that when companies come for hiring you for internships and jobs they will ask you questions wherein you have to program you have to write code you have to solve problems and if you had been doing competitive programming for a very long time you will simply crack those things and you will finally get a very good job so that's the benefit of competitive programming and that's something uh, people just ignore in their first two years one of the reasons is freedom another thing is chatting like this is something i think most of you will agree with that a lot of people a lot of your friends even your roommate might be uh, wasting a lot of their time in this i'm not saying uh, i should not actually say wasting it's like an experience and everyone goes through that so it's fine if you do that no problem but uh, i would say that try to maintain some balance and add some activities in your day and what are those activities you will come to know after watching this video and um, uh, and another transformation that happens when you are in college is TV series like you get exposure to Game of Thrones, Friends, How I Met Your Mother and things like that and you start enjoying that and they are like super addictive as we all know and we have a lot of time in engineering colleges I don't know I, I think engineering colleges are the best four years of my life like you have so much time and um, you, you really have so much fun like you stay up all night talking with your friends or watching TV series stuffing chips in your mouth and I'm not saying that th all these things are bad I'm just saying that this is an experience everyone should enjoy this journey but at the same time try to add some activities in this f in, in these first two years especially because these are super crucial and they can totally transform where you get placed and where you get internships the first eye opener activity that happens is when your first year ends and then your senior gets placed in XYZ companies and you can see their Facebook posts hashtag placed hashtag Google hashtag Machaya hashtag London these are some of the activities wherein where you realize that okay one year has gone down the lane 
and um, it went so fast i we can't even realize we came into second years now we are seniors now there will be a junior batch coming to our college that's something when you realize that dude uh, i also want to be a software engineer i also want to work at google i want to work at microsoft so in india i think most of the students who are in first year and if and if they are in some good college like iit they are of the opinion that they will get really hyping jobs maybe up to 30 40 lakhs if only two or three people get that in their college they think that we can at least get 20 lakhs but then this is that's not actually true the ctc may be 20 or 30 but the base salary is like really less and if you talk about google and have really high brands they know that people will come to them even when they are paying less and startups know that people will only join them if they pay more so if you really are money minded then maybe startups and uh, trading firms are something which you might look up to so i remember that if think that their ctc is 45 lakhs per annum and something like that it's not true the base salary might be as low as 12 lakhs so after tax deduction and all those kind of things you get even less than 85000 80000 okay and then you have to pay rent and all those kind of things so don't get disheartened by that of course you get other compensations in terms of stock benefits etc and i think it's post after a couple of years you get this maturity wherein you try to measure success with the right parameters like bagging a job uh, which is paying you 25 lakhs is not really successful um, but anyways the definition of success varies for everyone and uh, i and i agree that if if you are just coming out from school you really don't have that much experience and the correct thought process to think really think about what you want and what success is really to you so it's fine if you are having um, dreams and goals like we just want a high paying job maybe 20 lakhs per annum and maybe in google or something like that it's fine you can think in terms of that but anyways whatever your dream is uh, the journey to reach there is same and that's what i will talk now finally so um again the story of recruitment is something that i've already covered in my previous video which you can check the link to that is in video description and in summary i would just say that companies come to colleges they take your test they shortlist based on your performance in that test um, the test is on logical aptitude or data structures and algorithms which you can be really good at if you do competitive programming um when this happens this happens in third year when it, for internships the beginning of third year like companies come in the beginning of third year and uh, for placements the b- companies will come in beginning of fourth year to offer you jobs if you do good in that so this is how it works and for both clearing internships and placement interviews you need to be really really good at data structures algorithms programming debugging and then other things like your projects and other things also come into relevance but if you are not doing good in data structures algorithms you are not getting that job so these are the things that you have to do now maybe you have wasted your first year that's fine everyone does i also wasted my second year first semester which is the third semester so i started my journey from fourth semester to be honest and um, it's okay but these are the things that you have to do now maybe you have to uh, if you have wasted a lot of time now maybe you have to waste a very little time because wasting time is also important you you are not a robot okay so wasting time is important and uh, meanwhile if you have wasted a lot of time try to cover up things now but these are the things that you should definitely do by the end of your second year okay it's super addictive but it only happens when you see some results it's like a gym and it's 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 actually like a gym for your brain and uh, you really enjoy it once you start seeing the results like you really get imp- you really improve with the language and uh, to be honest implementing a solution uh, is totally different than thinking about it maybe you uh, initially when you're starting with competitive programming first of all thinking about the solution is also difficult okay because you are getting started with problem solving and to be honest if uh, in 11th and 12th you are like really good you might have already learned problem solving like approaching new problems how to formulate new problems how to approach them these are some of the problem solving techniques i learned when i was in uh, 11th and 12th because i think preparing for iit is like a transformation and that does teach you problem solving but in even if that does not happen it's fine you can learn in college um and that only happens by practice it's not that someone is god gifted people like that exist but but there is no shame in accepting hard work so um uh, even if you think that you're not that bright don't get disheartened okay there is a lot of time in college and just do hard work and you will see results so 
and uh, when you're getting started with competitive programming thinking about the solution also gets tricky and even if after practice you are now able to think about the solution it's a totally different thing to implement it and because in starting you don't know how recursion works and how to write perfect code which is not buggy um, and I remember that implementing a solution is totally different than thinking about it and these are some skills which you will become good at but that takes practice and it takes time so be patient in that and invest your time in this okay solve a lot of problems how to do that it's all about pr practicing on code chef code forces hacker rank and all these kind of things and how to get started you can check out my trailer for that okay um, the other thing that most people ignore often ignore is web development like you should be clearly familiar with the basic HTML and CSS how web pages are rendered in browsers like the HTML language itself also I would say you should know JavaScript at least you should know the DOM model of an HTML page Come, as I have said HTML is the root then body is the children of it and then all the input elements that we have on the page on the body of this page are children of the body node okay so now let's say I'm interested in all elements of tag input on this page and I want to change the value of all such nodes to Rachet to Rachet and as you can see um, we were having three input elements and the value has now changed to Rachet so uh, I'm just saying that in, uh, learn a bit about Chrome inspect and how it works how HTML CSS works how basic JavaScript works so these are some things that you should definitely know by the end of second year it, it's like very easy also so you can get started on this by W3 schools that's from where I learned it's like really great website for getting you started with the development side of things and for data success algorithms check out my trailer go to code chef and so many things I'm not going to repeat that so yeah as you can see for W3 schools HTML CSS JavaScript they have a lot of things just two HTML CSS and JavaScript from here L really great tutorials W3 schools guys okay so once you have done this uh, coming back to the list so now you should also know how databases work like you should get started with MySQL it's like really easy you should learn how to create tables so that you can store your data in a uh, so that you can store your data in a persistent way what I mean by persistence is that when you are getting started with programming you can store your data maybe in an array or something like that but you cannot save that right if you reboot your computer or if you shut down your machine that data was in RAM and it gets flushed down but when talking about software engineering of course your Facebook data and all those kind of things are stored somewhere in files and or in databases so database is very important and you should be familiar with how basics of databases work how to create tables of whatever columns that you want how to insert data into that how to query data onto that and all those kind of things so MySQL is like easy relational database you should get started with that so that's another thing and then uh, the best thing that you should also know is building rest APIs and what are rest APIs it's, it's nothing but when you are typing a URL and you press enter the request goes to the server and then servers does some processing and writing APIs is nothing but controlling all these kind of things like like interpretation of a URL and then doing some processing of data and finally returning some response so this is what an API does in short like for example uh, when you are doing a login so your username and password goes to the server and then it performs a check in the database whether this username and password is matching and if it does it sends back a response saying that yeah, everything is working correct and let this user be authenticated so this is one of the API's which is exposed from the server side so that users can communicate with it for authentication purposes so there are API's for almost different things and you should get started with building rest API's you, maybe you can use a framework like Python Django it's like really easy to get started with and you can just follow on Google the documentation that they have given for Python Django um, just Google about it and get started with it so these are some things that you should definitely be doing in your first and second years if you have wasted your first year it's fine you have to do this in your second year okay and then the last thing and I will quickly wrap up this video you should also try to do internships after your first year I would say so in those two months after first year you can either do competitive programming which I would say at least do competitive programming but if you can't do that every day like for two months do internship then Th just don't waste your time okay do internship and uh, if you don't want to do internship just do competitive programming in that time okay don't waste your time it's like 
I I remember I have wasted so I have wasted so much time in that. And if you are really getting started with it, uh, you can also try Project Euler. And what is Project Euler? Euler you can simply it's a fun website wherein you solve math problems using programming. Okay. Uh, you can learn more about Project Euler in one of my videos. You can simply search that on YouTube. And um, I hope you like this video. It gave you a brief overview of what are the things that you should definitely be doing in your first and second year. And uh, let me know in comments if this was useful and what do you think about it. I'm sure that most of the things that I have said over here are are something that you really relate to because this is a journey that everyone experiences and these are some tips and advices that I am trying to give and not only to you but uh, I, I would have really given these tips to myself if I was back in time. I will see you next time guys. Till then, bye bye.